Okay guys, so I just want to do a little video to kind of let you know where we're at. So this is the new 2650 kilovolt motor obviously. What I've done is I've soldered these Dean's wet noodle wires that I got. They're uh, 12 gauge and they're wet noodle because they're flexible and they're easy to work with. That's why they call them wet noodle, like a wet noodle. So I've soldered them on here. I've put the female 3.5 millimeter bullet connectors and then shrink wrap some tubing also around here and around here. Kind of make it look a little better. Um, but obviously I shrink wrap tubing around these because if these touch, it'll obviously short. So if you have some rubber around them. Now these 3.5 millimeter bullet connectors, I bought, uh, they come with three males, which is what this is. This is a male. And three females, which is what these are. They go in here like this, obviously. And they also come with um, six shrink tubing. So three red, three black, obviously. And uh, I only paid like $2.50 for six of them. I bought two sets of them because I need six female alone and only three male. So I think it was $8 all together with shipping. So those are really good. The wet noodle, this wiring by Dean's was, geez, this was $15 or something for like two feet black, two feet red. So it was really expensive. But anyway, so I got this all soldered up. This is the new one, 2650, ready to go. Here's the old ESC and motor, obviously. I cut the wires on it cut it from the ESC, got everything broken down. I didn't do an unboxing on the new 1-8 uh, scale, the new motor, because obviously just like this, comes with this, some stickers, and come with a sensor wire. And this new sensor wire is really nice and flexible, like way better than the old one, so I'll definitely, the old one's so rough and hard, and it feels like it's gonna snap in half, but so I'll definitely use that new sensor wire. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, so, but yeah, this motor, this 2650 kilovolt motor, I'm, I'm going to make sure I get my price right, but I, I want to say it was like $179 from A-Main Hobbies. I paid 100 and, and that $179 from A-Main Hobbies is also like, you know, you'll pay $5 for shipping. I got it for $149 off of eBay with free shipping. So, you know, eBay, I've... I'm an eBay nut because, you know, you get everything so cheap. But, yeah, when I took this apart, this is the battery tray, obviously, and the ESC goes on here, like, well, he had it like this. And the wire goes down in that hole in here. And then it runs right along here, and then comes out here and goes to the receiver. Something I noticed is he had some shrink tubing around part of the wire. So I got to looking at it, and that's when I saw that. See how chewed up it is? That's what he had shrink tubing around. So the CEC wire is chewed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some solder all over this to keep it from fraying in the future. And then I'm going to put some shrink tubing around it, heat it up, and get it to seal up again. Um, I think that'll be way better. I think the, the solder will help this from fraying anymore. Keep it together. Um, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much what I've done so far. Like I said, I'll get the plugs on the ESC. I'm going to run male plugs off the ESC and then I'm gonna put another set of, I'm gonna put a set of female plugs on this this is the old 2050 kilovolt motor kinda of like I did the 2650 that way I said before I can switch them in and out and what I did was I, when I break my stuff down and I'm gonna do something serious like this and I'm taking all this stuff off here I clean all this up I need to clean all this stuff up too as well and I'll get in here and clean the rest of it but I've cleaned just the tray off right now it was really nasty underneath of it that's what I do you know just kinda of keeps everything as I do maintenance and stuff, clean stuff up, it keeps everything really nice. I like to do that. But, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, I just want to do a quick episode to kind of give you guys an update of uh, where I'm at on the motor upgrade. I'll get all this uh, finished up, buttoned in, and, and set it up. And we'll do like a 20-yard run with the 2050 kilovolt motor and a top-end run again with the 18-tooth uh, pinion. Probably going to be around 49 miles an hour, 48. Um, and then we'll take that out, put the 18 tooth pinion on our 2650, do the same exact thing, do a, a 20 yard run to see what kind of acceleration our top speed on our acceleration is in 20 yards, and then we'll do a top end run. Probably do three of each, three 20 yard runs, three top end runs, round them out. What's the average speed? So, yeah, stay tuned, guys. It's going to be fun.